think I saw the countdown. Oh, what happened? You know what else happened? That was. It turned into Friday. Friday. Yeah, it turned into Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Hi, boy Shane Cannibal Mike G here. It's it is. me. Hi. I'm it the is problem. Friday it's again, uh, and we're going to take a Taylor swim. Swift lyric. We're taking a swim. Can we take a swim? Oh, we could swim, baby. I love to swim. We can swim Let's with the take sharks. A dip with the shark, the demon sharks. Rawr. Ooh, is that what the sharks, sharks do? with the the yellow eyes? Yeah, yeah. This movie we're reviewing today. This movie, uh, Shark Exorcist. It's good. It's riveting. It's the story of um, demon sharks, pretty much. Pretty much. You know what's more riveting what's than that? that? Are you doing it again? I'm doing it again. SNN here. The most chilling metric of all, Micro warns that 7 million American men are done looking for work and have punched out. Why is that a serious problem? Find out if you pay $100 on SNN. <laughs> Plus... <laughs> A man woke up unable to walk. It turned out his vitamin B12 was inactivated in his body after he took a laughing gas. Oof. Was that, that took place in Florida, didn't it? Florida, man. That's it. Two and done. He just yells Florida, man. Yeah. Yeah. You're a two pump and done guy. This is the news. And how many, see, this is the thing, Brian. This is why. I'm here. I'm listening. We always explain to him. Yep. SNN is all about the paid subscribers. Yeah. So why am I going to give out more free news to the fucking non-paid subscribers? This is why GNN failed. I you would, gave out too much free. If you guys let me, I would have done a whole entire episode with GNN. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how our channel would have been like d deleted. No one would watch. No one wants to see that much GNN. No one. Big news, though. I have... <laughs> A top five, Mike G's top five. What is the top five? Let's it's been it. it's been a month. <laughs> yeah. See this this top five is it's all about respect. You gotta respect people's space. <laughs> respect people's things. Okay. This water's not good. Oh my god. <laughs> this week's top five. <laughs> top five seasons of a TV show, not top five TV shows ever. Top five seasons okay. of okay. a TV show. Okay. I'm gonna it's going to be a lot of season fours. Uh, so can I go through my list? Go ahead. Game of Thrones season four. Good choice. Breaking Bad season four. Good choice. Dexter season four. <laughs> Great choice. It's Always Sunny season four. <laughs> I think five's better. Season four is really good. It's really good. And then Game of Thrones season one. Uh, I like season one. Wow, four. really? So that yeah, I'm going to replicate... Well, you said almost... Are we doing five? Yeah. I'm going to do Game of Thrones season four. I'm going to do Breaking Bad season four. I'm going to do True Detective season one. Okay, I'm going five. to do... Um, ooh, this is tough. It's tough. I can go down a Sherlock route. I could say Dexter season four, which is very fucking great. Fantastic. The Wire is great. The Sopranos ooh. is great. Yeah, this is tough. Wire season two? This is Wire. really fucking tough. Yeah. Um. I might have to come back with you with this last one that I have here on my finger. Yeah, this is tough. I would go... I'd probably just say either Game of Thrones Season 6 or Breaking Bad, like, Season 5. Yeah. Would be my last one. Do you split Breaking Bad A and B? No, it's one Season 5. I always okay. considered it as one. Yeah. If you do that, that would be in mine. Okay. True Detective Season 1 is actually number one. Okay. My favorite season of TV ever. Dexter Season 4. Mm-hmm. The John Lithgow yeah. vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Love you. Um, ah, some early season of The Sopranos. Probably up there. It's tough. Yeah. GOT 4. Yeah. Is that 5? I don't know. I don't know. All right, but now can Work I get my... Like season 2. <laughs> okay, can I get my real list of okay. top 5 best seasons? That was just your top 5 season 4s. <laughs> yes. Now okay, I'm going to so get my real list. The first four seasons of Jersey Shore... No, here we you go. You are a big fan. Velma of season one. Okay. There it Resident is. Evil season one. Workaholic season four. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that shit's awful. Um, I'm going to probably say Dexter season eight. 
<laughs> and uh, the one that thought you didn't know was existed. <laughs> and uh, let's the go. Game of Thrones <laughs> season eight. Yeah, <laughs> all those. Those are the top five. Actually, no, Velma season one again. Yo, next week I got a good one. Top five that I just thought of because you said Dexter season eight. Yeah, you should probably write it down before I forget. Yeah. Dun -dun. Twin Peaks Twin season Peaks. one. Twin Peaks worst, season one is actually incredible. Worst TV shows endings. Okay. Top five. That's easy. Next but time. We'll, we'll get to it next yeah. time because we should talk about Shark Exorcist. Um, it's a movie about a shark that becomes possessed because a nun kills a person in a lake. This is a lake shark, just so everyone knows. It's mm -hmm. with, he, she kills her on shore and like rolls her into the lake. Yes, yes. And then the shark gets possessed by this. Um, it is now the story of shark whackers. Filming the shark that is possessed also rivaled with shark fakers. Now, this seems like an important subplot, but I promise you all of these characters will disappear midway through, never to be mentioned again. Yeah, Shane, you should probably talk about like what the nonsense the nun is spewing at the beginning. I don't even remember. I don't even know if the, is it relevant. Like she just kills this woman. I don't know like why this woman was mad or angry or whatever. She's I, talking about how like the wor world is turning on her. It's something about like Satan worship. Yeah, I have no idea. And then this woman comes behind her. She's like, oh, I hate you. I'm angry. She just fucking guts Nicer, her. and rolls yeah. her into the water, possessing a shark. This fucking scene right here, dude. Well, well that's the thing. So the m moral of the story is there's these three girls that go to the lake. Yeah. Two of them had no desire to go to the lake. Yep. But mm -hmm. they go anyway. So this is, this is where it's going to get a little confusing. They say they've traveled two hours to the lake, right? Yes. They didn't want to go. But then after the one girl gets attacked by the shark and possessed by the shark, they live at the lake. No, they never leave the lake. They never leave the lake. The so like, what is happening? The dialogue is extremely <laughs> painful on the way up in this car ride. It is so painful, but it sets the tone for what you're going to get, and I love it. You love the, the acting in this oh, movie? Oh, yeah. There is no like emotion in this movie. No, if I find out somehow that you guys react to like, my death, like these people react to death... I swear to God, I will come back <laughs> and haunt me and haunt so you when, forever. When they go to the lake in the beginning, I think the big piece to note. This guy is funny as hell. <laughs> they, they mentioned something about like this girl, Allie, having problems with like her boyfriend. Boyfriend, yeah. But she goes to the lake and Allie gets bitten on her leg, which literally does not look like a bite whatsoever. It looked like a scratch. She, they save her and yeah, she just right. becomes the shark. Yeah, well, she yeah, so she's like possessed and acts differently towards them. I don't know. Like she doesn't move when she gets bitten. So no, guess, you're right. But it, she's the whole the thing is strange. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah, so bad. She's definitely she yeah. becomes. She is like the shark bites her, and then she gets the demon inside. Yes, her, I guess. But like that's the story now. It's gonna be all of these non-related characters, uh, just getting killed by Ali essentially. Yes, and <laughs> nobody has any emotion in this movie. No, nobody. No, does. she doesn't care. Like no one cares about the each other. The fucking animatronics and Five Nights at Freddy's have more emotion than these girls. <laughs> I don't know why I got the vague hint too that the blonde was like shagging Allie's boyfriend. She was. Don't was doesn't she run into them at the carnival later I, in the I movie? Oh yeah, they're in. They, they go to the carnival fair, or whatever. That was the same. Guy. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So this is the problem, and I don't want to sound that mean. dude's wearing a deep ass V neck. You All of that? the blondes in this movie look identical, and I couldn't tell them apart. Okay, but I want to talk about <laughs> my favorite Yo. TV show inside of a movie ever. Ghost Whackers. Yes. Because there's this girl who's like the host of Ghost Whackers and she's <laughs> she, she is uh like gets possessed almost like she gets yeah. the spirits in her because she's talking about the the shark murders. She's conjuring up the demon in there and it's going inside of her and you're really feeling it and, and you hear it and it's very real. But like you said, there's another show trying to expose her simultaneously called Ghost Fakers. I love how they have they have a, they get into like a little bit of a fight and they, they do, do yeah. also never hear from them again. Nor does the shark do anything to them. Well, it does possess the ghost whackers girl, right? Well, kind yeah, of. It, it possesses but, them, but like the shark doesn't like eat them. Or no, anything. no, it ne never. They have a little like thing at a memorial area, right, where they like kind of fight a little bit. But that's pretty much it. Her possession scenes are the best part of the movie, though. Oh, which is amazing. Like, oh, the shark is is there. Oh, there's the one where she's like. It's a sexual encounter. She starts like orgasming on the ground. Wait, is that what's actually happening? <laughs> it sounds like Did I it. Miss? Oh. She's literally, she starts moaning during the scene. Okay. 
and saying, come inside me. Does she really she say does that? Say yeah. that? She does say that. But I thought it, it's like one of those, like, what's what's the phrase? A double entendre? Where it's like, she, it, you take it as like a, a <laughs> come inside me, but she just means like the spirit come, come inside. inside me. Oh, yeah. I thought it was just sex. Yeah, because you're a deviant. That's true. That's so true. You just hang out on deviant art. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, so can we point something out here? I actually like this chick though. Absolutely. Really, I'll tell you what, a lot of lot of takeovers in this movie, a lot of possessions. Could you do a possession scene like this? Absolutely not. I would laugh probably right away. Oh, this so you're is, a bad actor. I, yeah. I, 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 when I was watching this, like I was like absolutely amazed. This is amazing to me. Think she about how this, itchy she's gonna be she, from that she grass. She does this too. several yeah. times. This is because Ghost Whackers is lit. <laughs> it is. Now, this is the thing, though, um, and I wanted to point this out. You never see from his camera. It's always the actual camera filming both of them. I know. So it's kind of really poorly done. Yeah. Am I nitpicking? Absolutely. But am I correct? It doesn't have a strong... Also, yes. like, I feel like the, her possession of the demon is it's just not like a strong connection to this movie. It, there's no connection. More, more, more or less, I love Allie. Is, is her first victim the hitchhiker guy? Yes, yes, it is. The guy that she picks up on the side of the Incredible. road. Incredible. So picks up this weird dude in a tank, right? And he's, like, touching her leg, and she's not interested, but, like, they go to the water. She lures mm -hmm. him there. And then they have, like, what is supposed to be, like, a flirtatious sexual scene in the, the water. The scene is incredible it's literally one of the greatest scenes we've seen on this show where she like circles around him and they splash water for two There's, whole minutes with a, the, without saying a single word the fucking sound <laughs> i don't know if you remember in that scene there's fucking like background like children noise i thought they were gonna cut to like a group of kids like on the sand on the beach never do <laughs> how about next time you edit that out <laughs> Splashing away yeah. It's literally incredible They don't talk to each other They just splash Yeah but she turns into a shark And eats him She does Yeah she eats him Ima oh. Imagine this You take a girl like skinny dipping or something yeah. And you splash her <laughs> The whole time Yeah You think she's staying in that water or She She's leaving It depends on the girl <laughs> you, What if you take a shark girl She might love it <laughs> Loves a good splash Oh my god I love like I, I do love the um, connection of that guy being brothers with the shark exorcist. Insane. <laughs> who's the, the priest that comes to... Insane. Who, who, who wants to, like, find, like, what happened and, like, take revenge on this demon shark. And now he gets involved. Fucking wild. Guy's a hero. He is. Uh I just like it's so dumb the whole thing. There is one more scene I want to note that's like of some importance. She does lure another and then she brings that girl there. She gets killed by the shark. And then but she turns into a shark in the pool. Her pool. Her pool. But no, but dude, there is I'm trying to think. That scene's fucking weird as hell, man. Yeah. It's super oh, weird. Man. But do you yeah. remember the Ren? <laughs> The random scene of the jogger, the jogger that just starts like just running as fast as he can up to the water, sees one of the oh my god, yes, yes, and just starts puking, like, blah, blah, but I'd still fuck her. Ah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, another fucking creepo. I'm so tired of these fucking weird guys, man. Uh, oh, this right here, it was so out of place. It just, was just assault. No, this is assault. That isn't that. That's the payment you get for picking up hitchhikers. That you get to fucking upskirt them. That's yeah. like that. That's the. the I you, thought that was like the unwritten you, you rule. Take me to this scene, dude, is fucking great. Look this, at this, this shit. This scene is literally goaded. The the splashing scene. Shane, like he this, starts this wetting wrong. his own chest, not even her chest. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I'm actually uncomfortable watching this with you guys. They never kiss. They just splash. <laughs> they get a little bit close here. Oh, they won't do it though. They won't do it. I think that girl is married to the exorcist in real life. Isn't that him? Oh, that is him. Is oh, yeah, because he played guy? the same guy. I think it's yeah. the same guy, right? Okay. If it is, yeah, she, they're married. Then why are they splashing? <laughs> <laughs> Just like share a kiss, man. Come it's on. It's so dumb. 
Or is he a different person in The Exorcist? I thought they were the same no, guy. The, they played brothers, it's right? It's the same dude. Yeah. The shark is great. The shark. I love so the good. shark because he's either staying still or slowly moving, and everybody just gets pulled under. Like the yeah. physics doesn't work. They use the same uh, clip of that shark over and over again. <laughs> Stock footage of the shark. I think I just loved it. I uh, loved it. It's great. I ate it. Do you want to go to the carnival? Yeah, let's go to the carnival. Okay. Where she spies on her friend with her ex-boyfriend yeah. at the carnival, which I thought she was going to kill both of them. I thought so, too. But isn't this where her so other too. friend and the exorcist catch her? Yep, they catch her because they need to perform the exorcism. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what is, is that a, what kind of bird is that? Stork. A stork? Crane. Pelican. Crane. Okay. Crane. Kind of reminds me of like in my second grade, like elementary class, there's like a poster on the chalkboard of like a pelican, like eating a frog. And like its caption was like, don't forget to chase your dreams. <laughs> and I saw that shit. And I was like, I want to climb a mountain. It's so inspirational. That's it. Pel- pel- what? What? You guys, did, you guys didn't have like weird pelicans eating frogs <laughs> saying chase your dreams. No, you know never had that one. That, you know what you were telling me it reminds me of? You know South Park how like Mr. Garrison has got the weirdest shit in, in, yeah, in, in his classroom. In I'm his telling classroom. you, I had stuff like that in my in Columbus school. <laughs> Good thing I didn't go there. Um, what wax school did you go to? I'm not gonna say Wilson. Yeah, <laughs> that one. So yeah, let's let's talk about this. They like tie her up to like a cross. Yes. To perform the exorcism. It's very mm-hmm. strange what happens here. Because like he does perform the exorcism. He, performs the, he says the he says what he needs to say to perform the exorcism. And if I'm not mistaken, I want to interpret this correctly. I'm ready. The exorcism does work. Yes. However, the demon is now trapped in the exorcist. Yes. I thought he got trapped in her friend's body. He got trapped in her friend's body. Yes. The main friend? Yeah, the blo- the brown-haired girl. Oh, okay. Because yeah. doesn't she, at the end of the movie, make that, like, look, look I'm a shark kind of look when she looks at the camera when she's with that guy on the dock at the very end? Yo, oh. This is so crazy. Again, I just watched this movie, and I don't remember it. <laughs> I could have sworn that the end of the movie, like, she's on the dock with some guy, and it, it kind of makes the, like... No, but, like, the exorcist takes the... Yes, yes, yes. I, that makes sense. But I don't think the movie does make sense because I thought it was showing, though, at the end that it the was in other, her? Yes. Or By the way, after the credits, did you guys watch the 10 minute scene where that girl walks around in an aquarium? Yes, I did, actually. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad yeah. you got, I'm not the only one who watched that. I was trying to see if something happened. I'm like, nope, she's just grabbing stuffed animals. Yeah, nothing ever happens. She just shops. Because she- women be shopping. Am she I like right? Stares into like the fish tank for a while, gets all emotional. Jellyfish. That's a cool animal. No, there she looks at the jellyfish. Yeah. I always like looking at the the stingrays. I like going to aquariums in we, general. We went to one in Boston. Yeah. That was cool. All those cute ducks. Quack. <laughs> Quack. Stop. Please stop. Quack. Dragula. What even is this? Oh, the random guy. <laughs> Where he fucking... What's the... Oh, he starts feeling her up, right? And he's not there. No, he just snaps like 45 pics of her. It does go into him. He, he bites her, which I guess gives her the demon? I think so. I think that's how it happens. And then he's vanquished. Oh, that's right. He's vanquished because the shark comes from the sky. <laughs> Dude. Can we also talk about how the girl who was possessed and was supposed to be tied up at one point just gets down? What? Like the straps yeah. just fall off. What it's a bad. fucking story. It's Could a bad tie bad? job. It's a bad job. Did you see that shark, that demon shark come from the nebula, from the sky, from, from the galaxy? Black Can we also talk about how the shark is the worst CGI we've reviewed yet? Come on. What are we doing here? What is this? No, it's no. pretty good. It's pretty great. So what, what am I sitting in between? So uh, this, his name's Brian. My name is Mike. That's true. Now this scene is great because this lady who is just gonna like have a, I guess herself like a little bit of a sit down in the park. <laughs> this is great. This random guy behind a fucking tree. He's so well hidden too. <laughs> I'm who's shocked she gonna, missed him. Who's just gonna watch her lay down, snap some pics like well, a nice pervert? He's going. She's going tanning, and then of course every movie we fucking talk about, 
as an actual cl- fucking pervert. Gets close. She that. doesn't know. And then, like, she gets up, and it's not him anymore. Like, he's not there. No, he's gone. And, like, her whole point was to get killed, right, by the returning nun? The returning nun, yeah. So why have the whole scene? Uh, she Wow, she's licking that knife, too. I'm a, I'm a, just wow. to assume that she's just one of the first people that was possessed and is still doing it. I think so. What's the point of having the guy take f- 50 pictures of her? There isn't, Mike. This is a bad movie. It's not very clear. And then there's this random girl that comes out of nowhere. Who's this girl? Who is she? Who the fuck is she? She goes to try to kill the nun. Is that the first girl she killed? No, I think the first girl was a blonde, she, right? Yep, yep, yep. You're right. She's going to choke out the nun in the water for the shark to kill. I don't know if that's going to stop it, though. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no Demon as well. shark is still possessed. He's the one that's giving it out. It's kind of like a, like a zombie bite. Yeah. It just gives you the demon. It's so strange. It's definitely a new take. That's why it's brilliant. This movie definitely just... Yeah, this is the scene. Is, is she hints that she's possessed now, right? Which would make sense if we were going to go consistent with see the bite. It's consistent yeah. with the bite. It's a shark bite. Yeah. I hate this movie. Yeah, because she jumps out of the water and eats her. That's what it is. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't remember any of this. Oh, yeah, it jumps out. Of the- yeah, that's right. Yep. I think I forgot Fuck, about that. Fuck, dude, this yeah. movie's so good. That's it. It's, it's incredible. And then there's the last 10 minute scene of this random girl walking uh, through the the aquarium, picking up stuffed sharks and looking at stuff in the aquarium. And I mean, that's really it. Oh, no. There's uh, another one of. Uh... She's, she's rubbing the shark on her now. No, I'm talking about the, uh, what was the TV show from the beginning? Fakers, Ghost Fakers. Yeah, she comes back after this scene. Wait, what? Ghost, Ghost, Ghost Fakers? Ghost Whacker Girl? The redheaded lady. From Fakers or Whackers? I think she's a Whacker. Wait, where? Did you make that part up? It's either before or after what we just watched, guaranteed. It's like the only thing I remember of this movie. Being honest, It's just irrelevant. It doesn't do anything. Was it there? That was her, though. Keep it, just keep it running. But it goes to a new movie in like 10 seconds. It's after the credits, you think? Wait, Dave and Busters? <laughs> oh, you're I did not see I this didn't see scene this either. Oh, my God. I told you. Oh, that's right. Because you, do you remember when they tackle each other earlier and she yeah. just, all she does is throw up on her? Yeah. yeah. Mike, I applaud you for sticking around for yeah, this. Yeah, seriously, you stuck around. Well, you know what it is? I didn't see this because a new movie started. So she <laughs> she must have been possessed by the demon because, you know, she she let it come inside of her. Yes. And then she was like, you know, it was in her and she threw up on the ghost faker girl. She probably killed the ghost yeah, faker girl. you just girl. never let anyone come inside they, you. That's where, she, that's where they were, yeah. where they last were. So I think that was just the... <laughs> All right, that is the, that's Shark Exorcist. Ooh, Swamp Shark. Okay. That's Christy Swanson from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, okay, okay. Killer Shark's up there. There's so many shark uh, Swamp movies. Swamp Shark. Swamp Shark bait. Swamp Shark is looking like a winner, though. They do, I'm, yeah, yeah I'm, definitely. I'm digging that. Also, Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Big Christy Swanson fan. Tubi is a fucking madhouse. It's yeah. just a madhouse, dude. It's Wasteland. Shark season. We saw that. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, um... Ouija Shark looks good. Ouija Shark might be a winner. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, review this. Rate this. Rate this. Four, three, two, That's one. That's an one. Fuck yeah. I'm giving it zero out of five Anthony Richardson. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, Anthony Richardson counter. Do you remember when we used to base things on Seagal's? Yes, in Final Pod. Yeah. Yeah, our Seagal. I do system. remember that. Yeah. One out of ten Seagulls. Why do I like this movie so much? I'm not going to lie to you. I I had fun watching it. The acting was so poor, and the scene transitions were so bad, and the story was so incoherent, it was laughable. Like, I know what you're probably going to say, like, movies, something like movies like this is just like, it's bad and it's not funny. I found it very funny. Me too. Yeah, it's the first one I'm going to differ Normally, I'm the one who's like, I found it. So, 
I didn't like this. I didn't laugh. I don't know why I couldn't get into this one. I thought like, I don't know. It was just, I didn't like it. The splashing scene was hilarious. I will give you the so splashing funny, scene. Dude. That scene is fucking hilarious. You want to like, talk about popping? I popped huge for that. Uh, dude, and the, that, the, the ghost whacker scenes are epic. Oh, it's so bad. And yes. the random jogger, like the random people that come <laughs> out of the woodwork, the literal <laughs> random people that are brought into this movie are so great. I couldn't. I can't. I'm sorry. What are we doing next week? That's, what what I, was, doing? that's what I was looking up. I, I don't remember off the I, top of I my head. I know what we're doing next week. Ryan oh, knows. announce it. Uh, well, Shane, that's really your job, and I'll whisper it to you. Oh, so oh no, no. It. Okay, I got it. I got it then. I can pull it up. I, I want to see Brian whisper to you, though. No. We're, get, we're getting... Uh, Okay, yeah, we are. We're, we're we're getting creepy, creepy. We're dolls. Gonna, yeah, we're we're gonna do something we haven't done all on Final Friday yet. We're gonna go down the doll rabbit hole. Mike hates dolls. He's scared of them. He's a little puss. Yeah. So we're gonna do Robert, <laughs> Bob the doll. Robert. He doesn't like to be called Bob. He don't like being called Bob. Robert. Robert. Bob Sala. I fucking hate this man. No, yeah, this is a. Uh, we didn't realize when we were gonna do this that this movie has like six of them, but six of what? Like Robert, Robert returns, Robert's night oh, out. Oh, like, like six different vehicles. Robert goes to space. Yeah, Robert in the big city. Yeah, all of it. Robert, ta Bob takes Manhattan. Exactly, all of it. So yeah, we're doing Robert, Bob X. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you next week. <laughs> we'll be here. www.thefinalpodcast.com I don't know if I will. After that one. Sorry. <laughs>